Hey everybody, happy Sunday. This is Intuitive Queen Shar back with another reading. I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning, for letting me run my errands and get back home safely, for a good healthy meal, for heat, for food. Don't get me started because I can be on here all day listing the things that I'm thankful for. We need to get more in a mind of what we do have versus what we don't have because there's always somebody worse off than us. I know a few. I'm 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 serious. But okay, for the past two or three days I've been seeing a lot of birds around my window. When I went out a while ago, hold on y'all, somebody in the Carolinas is cooking right now. I smell cornbread. I smell baked, either baked chicken or baked turkey, um, rice, gravy, cabbage maybe. I don't see like greens or spinach. I see like cabbage, um, maybe a lemon cake, and a child or grandchild named Jeffrey because I see an older woman saying, Jeffrey, turn down the stove. Jeffrey, check the oven. That's just random. It just flew in my head, but... You know, I mean, you have a wonderful, delicious meal because I wish I was down there with you. And this is somebody in the Carolinas that just that just hit me. But I'm I'm from an old school family. I'm an old soul, y'all. I think I've lived probably 13, 14, 15. I don't know, maybe 100 times before. And the way I was brought up is that like if your left hand itches, you're going to get money. If your nostril itches on the left side, there's a man going to come to your house um, stuff like that, the old wives' tales, as as people call them. But I also was told that when you see a lot of birds or hear a lot of birds, those are messengers. There's a message that needs to get to you or you're going to get a message soon. So I was not going to come on here today. Um, I decided to do something a little bit different. I, I shuffled my cards and I laid them out. I shuffled them a lot and I laid them out. And what I'm going to do is pick five cards randomly. And flip them over, and then whatever message is on the card, that is, a, that is a message that you need to hear. And let me remind you, this reading is not for everybody. It may have everything to do with you. It may have nothing to do with you. It, it's a lot of people in the world, a lot of energies in the world. So if one card out of five resonates with you, Take that card and hold on to it, okay? And again, I'm not God, y'all. I'm just a messenger. I, I'm a regular, schmegular person. Regular. I was on the floor doing a puzzle at three years old, and I heard this booming voice like thunder that nobody else heard, and that's when I got my gift. Right after that, I started having dreams and visions, and that was like two seconds ago, but it was when I was three years old. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to grab this one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's take. Come on out of here, sucker. This one. Then this one's sticking out. Let's grab him. Oh. Y'all bear with me. This is something new I'm trying, okay? Then we're going to go in the middle. Let's get this one. Did I say four or five? Five. And then we'll get his twin right next door. This one. So I'm going to push these back. And I'm going to flip these over. And whatever the message is, that message is meant for somebody. Okay? This is a romantic read. All right, y'all. Bear with me. First card says... Oh, I want to make things right. Oh, Lord, why did my heart just tug? There's, I had this card earlier this week. Somebody who's in separation with somebody because of an argument, your person want to make things right. I'm in my feelings today, y'all, because I ran into a couple that has split up for about four or five years, and they are back together strong. And I hugged that girl so hard she was like a daughter to me i was so glad to see them back in love i'm gonna tell you how god works he had the young man 
get a job in the building right next to the young woman, not knowing she worked there. So they started bumping into each other again. You know, they started speaking to each other. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Hey, what you doing Wednesday? You want to go to the movies? Next thing I know, they're back in love again. So delay does not mean denial, y'all. Just because you break up with somebody, if that person's meant for you, it may take five years. It may take five months. It may take, I don't know. If it's meant to be, it's going to happen. So your person wants to make things right with you. Next card says, <gasps> oh, y'all, I'm rather mushy, so, oh my God, I'm in love with you. My heart just started, boop, boop, boop. they're in love with you. They want to make things right because they're in love with you. For whomever this resonates with, you already know. Especially if you and your person are soulmates or twin flames. You already know. Oh, they want you to know they're in love with you. That's what all those birds were trying to tell me. Shar, get online and deliver the message. And this may, say, this may also be a message from me. There could be somebody in love with me. <laughs> Next card says... <gasps> You're always on my mind. Y'all, this is a love relationship reading. You are always on my mind. When you go to bed at night and you think about that person, when you wake up at 3 in the morning and get some water or go to the bathroom and you think about that person and you hug your pillow and you talk to them telepathically, you pray for them, you really miss them, Guess what? They're doing the same thing. My great-grandmother used to always say, if you're thinking about somebody a lot, that's because they're thinking about you. This is good so far. I hope these next two are good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. What's the next card? Oh, I'm afraid that I've lost you forever. They're worried that what you had is over. Um, this is why I felt sad this morning. The reason you know that you're picking up on your person's energy is that there's nothing going on in your life that makes you sad. Nothing. Go down the checklist. Are my bills paid? For, for the most part, do I have you know food? Is my health good? Are my kids safe? Check, 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 check. Did I have a good time when I went out? Check, 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 check. Did I lose 10 pounds? Check, check, check. If you can't find anything wrong while you're moping around and you're in separation with somebody, that's your person's energy. And they think they've lost you forever. <sighs> I pray things work out for whomever it's meant to work out for. And my last card, I'm going to flip it over says I don't feel like I deserve you so this card and this card go hand in hand this person done something to really hurt you uh, or they feel like they're not good enough for you and I think that's that that's crappy there's nobody beneath anybody it's just how you choose to live your life. We're all human beings. I know one time, I'm in IT. I've been in IT 28 years. Senior level, I started out pretty young. One of the first females in the DMV to do a whole bunch of stuff. And there was one guy at a place I worked at. He was a janitor. And he was in love with me. That guy had the biggest crush on me. He would wait for me every morning outside my office. But I was seeing somebody at the time. And he came out and asked me, he said, are you rejecting me because I mopped the floor? And that made me get in my feelings. I said, why would you say that? He said, I can't see you being the type of girl that would date somebody at Burger King or somebody like me. But I really like you. I have a house. I mean, he started going down the list. I said, let me tell you something. I don't like you for what you have. If I didn't like you, you would know it. I can be very standoffish if I don't want to be bothered. But I invite you in my office every day. We cut up. 
but I have a boyfriend that I'm not going to cheat on. I said, but no, I don't look down on you because you mopped the floor. Some guys are strong and healthy and don't want to work. You're not lazy. You do physical, physical labor. Yeah, but they feel like they don't deserve you. The next time you see your person, if you picking up on this also, please talk to them and let them know, baby, uh, I don't like you because you only make, I don't like you, I don't dislike you because you only make a certain amount of money or, you know, live in a one bedroom with three other people. I like you because I like you. I don't need you in my life. I want you in my life. Let them, let them know. This is not an excuse for you to slack off and not be your best. But if I didn't want you in my life, you wouldn't be there. So you deserve me. Everybody's a work in progress. We all need help in something. I know I do. I wish I had a 24-inch waist, but I don't. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu read. The little birdies told me to deliver this message. And again... Whatever card resonates with you, take that card and embrace it. I'm going to put these back in the pile. Um, this was kind of fun. I might start doing this in the morning because these are a surprise for me also. I don't get to see them before I um, do my reading. But you all have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow morning. God bless you. Whoever's in the Carolinas cooking, I just heard the name Sarah. Um, I also see, also see pancake mix in a cabinet. Um, Walter, uh, John or Johnny, Melinda, um, Sharice, your address may have a 10 in it, a 4, a 7. My 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 brain is not normal. It just the visions fly twenty four seven. I never get a break. But anyway, y'all take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, Lord willing. Take care.